Hi parents, it's Beth again, and I hope that you're surviving in your, what are we, week two of our quarantine as it is. This week I want to talk about the second of the principles that um, Pastor Ron taught us in the Jesus curriculum, what Jesus taught his disciples. And the second question is, what is the gospel? The gospel is a person and his name is Jesus. Simple as that. I bet a lot of you have learned four spiritual laws or five principles that are supposed to be what the gospel is, but the gospel is Jesus, plain and simple. No rules, no laws, just Jesus. We don't need to add anything to Jesus. He is everything. And to know him is the full treasure of life. Not to know information about him, but to know him. The gospel means good news. And here are a few ideas that you can do with your kids this week to help them better understand the good news of Jesus. I've listed again some verses for you all to look up with your children. And depending on their age level, you might want to ask, why is Jesus the good news? As you read these verses, if they're younger, you'll just want to explain as you read the verse, this is why Jesus is the good news. Maybe you'd like to make a list, hang it up on your wall. And um, each day you could add another reason why Jesus is the good news. Even a little child can know Jesus. My kids were all five years old or younger when they received Jesus. Talk with them about Jesus, why he is the good news. Ask if they wanna be Jesus followers and pray with them. I'd love to hear those stories that are going on in your homes. The older kids, you might wanna make a study time for them. Here's an idea, skim through the whole book of John. You could take a couple of chapters each day if you like and help them to write down things that they learned about why he is the good news. John was Jesus' best friend when he was here on the earth. So who could know better why Jesus was the good news than the guy that walked with him through all the miracles he did and the transfiguration and so many things. And John knows why Jesus is the good news. He knew Jesus well. So have the kids go through and just skim and go, oh, I see this, this is why Jesus is good news and make a list. Here's an outdoor activity for you. So Jesus is the creator. You're gonna figure that out right in the first chapter of John. Maybe go for a scavenger hunt outside. Not when it's raining, because it's raining right now, but we have had some good breaks. So go outside, have a scavenger hunt. Collect things that Jesus created. There's pine cones out there, big ones, small ones, in between. There's leaves, there's blossoms on the trees, there's wildflowers, there are all kinds of things that you could collect and talk about. Jesus creating them and, and look at them real, how intricately they're made. And it's just exciting to in, investigate these things. Maybe you could put a platter or, um, a board on your table and add to your collection each day and leave it there for a week so that you can talk about all the different things that Jesus made. Remember, the gospel is a person and his name is Jesus. Have a great week and stay well. Bye-bye.